here with a runner at first now and one away. Ball one. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Now a move over to first. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Runner goes. Hit swung on and missed the throw. Low throw, and he can't handle the short hop. Pickoff move to second, but he is in there as they can't get him at second. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. But he is in there as they can't get him at second. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Set to get his evening at the plate started, George Springer. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. He couldn't quite pull that swing back. He went around for strike one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that go. last pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. At the plate, Josh Reddick. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And a ball, 1-0. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. There's two pitches in a row, Matt, that were away. If this is any indication how he's going to pitch him the rest of that bat, he's saying, you're going to beat me the other way. Nothing inside for him to pull. If you want to hit it, take it the other way. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Machado onto the grass. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. In now is Pedro Alvarez. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. First baseman, Pedro Alvarez. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Running hard. He's digging for second. And the Orioles are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Coming to the plate now, Colby Rasmus. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Ready with the 0-1. 
And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Here's the one and one pitch. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Boy, as a hitter, he's really put himself in a bad spot right there, chasing that ball out of the zone one and one. You're telling the pitcher now, I'm not seeing the strikes at all. They'll probably try to get him to chase again. Working for the punch out and the offering. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Tim Beckham will be next. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Reddick giving chase. He's there and records the first down. The relay throw. And he is in there. Coming to the plate now, Tim Beckham. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. No score here, but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Well, that's a tempting pitch right there. You got that runner on third base. You're looking for something to drive. You want the ball up. But Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. He's set. Here's the 2 2. High pop up. Gonzalez is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Cisco, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Striding in. Once again, Trey Mancini. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Right side hit hard. And a base hit as the run is in to score, and the Orioles have a one-nothing lead. Digging in, Adam Jones, over for ten. one here in the early going. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Slap hard the opposite way, and this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on. Into the box now, Alex Bregman, and he'll Leading start out the there half of the third, top third of the order to follow. Alex Bregman. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this will not be caught, it's a foul ball. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And there to put this one away is Jones, and that's out number one. The first base Ready for another number chance? Nine. Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin. Gonzalez. One for one after a single this first time up. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Now that's popped up. Alvarez calls for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The second Here's the second baseman, base Jose Altuve. Both for one for him here in this one. First offering on its way. Fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Evan Gaddis now standing in. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Before the 0 1, he'll check on first. Two out with the man at first. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jonathan Scope. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. A little bouncer. Jonathan Scope. 
And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield Just single. Hitter, number 19. Now at the plate, Chris, Chris Davis, Davis reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. The shortstop. Here's 15, Manny Machado now Manny looking to Machado. put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Comes back with a good change up there and it's quickly 0 and 2. On its way the 0 2 pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Well, no surprise on that one. That's the classic slider down the way, trying to get him to chase on that 0-2 pitch. Runners off for second. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base, trying to get into scoring. Striding into the box, Brian McCann. He's 0 for, for 1 thus far. Infield Brian in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Uh, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it had to be, Matt. But if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Grounded to the right. Scope has it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat. Carlos Correa. He reached on a single in his first try. Into the windup and the pitch. On the ground to third. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Digging in to try it again. Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Tell you what, I'm already taking inventory in the fourth inning here, Matt. His secondary pitch has really been effective. He's used it well. He's getting a lot of good results from it. I just wonder if they're going to make an adjustment as the game continues. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Too high. 1 and 2. Throw over to first. Runners on first with one down. And again a throw. Ready to deliver the one and two. High in the air out to center field. Jones is under it. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Center field. Here's George Springer comes into this at bat hole for one in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. A one count. Here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to short. Machado has it. He'll go to scope at second for the force out, and that ends the inning. In now is Pedro Alvarez. He'll lead Leading things off here in this one run Orioles. contest. First baseman, Pedro First pitch Alvarez. has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2-0 now. Here's the pitch. 
swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Another try at 2 2. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3 and 2. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Pedro Alvarez is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Colby Rasmus is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1 0. Look out, 2 0 now. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2 0, but. I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. So coming to the How plate, buddy? Tim Beckham. Right, oh for one for him Tim here in this one. Beckham. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. One and one, here it comes. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Ready with two balls and a strike. A late swing at a slider for a strike. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Into the box, Cisco, and maybe a little Number extra 15. motivation for him here after being hit by a pitch in his first at bat. Now a ball sprayed foul into the seats near third. He's ready. Here's the 0-1, and that misses one and one. Here it comes on one and one. And look out, he has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Josh Reddick. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Josh Reddick. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Jones is under it. He's got it one away. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fouled straight back. Hits are now even at four apiece. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's set. Here it comes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Has a look. Now the pitch. Ball. Off the plate. One ball, no, one strike. One. From the belt, the pitch. Line hard toward right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And now Jones fires it in off the wall. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game.
Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Trey Mancini. He'll lead Orioles. things off as we Left begin the fielder, home fifth. Trey Mancini. Now here's the pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Here's a swing and a miss. One and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt. But this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. That's that controversial pitch right there. It's in the zone, should be called a strike by the book, but it's not a strike in baseball, not in the big leagues anyway. Well, he falls behind 3-1 right now, but man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Altuve ranging into shallow right and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Adam Here's the center Jones. fielder now Adam Jones. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch hacking here and that's the first strike. Drilled on the ground is short. Two is left. Correa throw gets him two down. In now, Jonathan six. Scope. Jonathan. He singled in two Scope. trips to the plate thus far. And a step off into the windup and the pitch. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0-1. I like how he's using the changeup tonight, using it to get ahead, also using it to put guys away. Very effective pitch for him. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. McCann has it. And the throw to first ends the inning. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. He started out the Leading evening 0 for Houston. 2 so far. Catcher, Brian McCann. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Well, he got a high strike on a fastball right there. That's pretty unusual. Usually, early in the count, 
you're going to see a guy work down in the zone. That high fastball usually the put away pitch with two strikes. He pitched him backwards right here. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a ball sprayed fouled into the seats near third. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Here's Carlos Correa now. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0 and 1. And he still may not be comfortable. Even 0 and 1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is a big pitch right here. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Ready for another shot Bye -bye. now. Derek Fisher. He's Derek one for two in the ball Fisher. game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Oh, I think that curveball froze him, but it didn't quite get the zone. I like the pitch, though. Lofted in the air out to right field. Rasmus giving chase. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Ready once again, George Springer. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Now a throw over to first. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. I like the call for the two strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. And a curveball swung on and missed. And a great call there as the inning is over. Ready for another chance? Chris Davis. he lead it off as we start the home sixth. Chris Davis. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Well, count now 1-0 oh with a real good slugger up at the plate. This is the time as a pitcher you have to really make some good pitches. This is not the time to just groove one right down the middle. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Springer ranging back. He makes the catch, a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. The shortstop, number 13. Here's Manny Machado Manny now. Machado. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Into the windup and the pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Swing, and he pops him up. 
over toward foul territory. Gonzalez is over now and he's got it for route number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Pedro Alvarez. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Now some action out in the Houston bullpen as it appears both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Here comes the first pitch. Start of that swing a bit too early. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight and mechanically he looks really consistent and fluid to me. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one. And he's keeping it down here and that's a called strike two. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. Hit hard to the right side. There is Altuve. Throw in time and the side is retired. Stepping in is Josh. Redick. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Redick waiting and now the pitch. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Pitch on the way. Outside. 3 and 0 now. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. Digging in and looking for more. Alex Bregman. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first. And that will be a wise decision as he. the potential going You're Michael Givens place. takes the ball now here as he for the Orioles number 60 Michael Givens he's set and the pitch and the fastball sails on him and that gets away and a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go ahead run into scoring position. Swing and a miss for strike one. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Kemp rounds the corner and is headed home. And the runner will score from second as they take a two to one lead. Digging in to try it again. Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin Gonzalez.
first pitch of the at bat. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Oh man, he just tied him up in knots right there. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Boy, that pitch looks so good when you're hitting, but you're not going to catch up to it. I think pitchers should use that more often. The high fastball in the eyes, they will never catch up to it. Tell you what, he's got a good changeup, and I love throwing the changeup right there. You got two strikes on the hitter. That ball coming out of the hand looks so much like a fastball with the same release, and then it ends up being a changeup. I like the pitch. Good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner to get into scoring position. That keeps the double play in order, which they need, seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning. Riding in once again, Jose Altuve. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he is safe at second base as the decision to move up pays off, and that'll likely be scored a wild pitch. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Calling for it, Mancini. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Evan Gaddis now standing in. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. In the dirt here. And no advance, it's ball one. 1 0 count, here it is. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. He's set, here comes the 1 1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now it's a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Seventh inning stretch. Now at the plate, Colby Rasmus. He'll try Leading and get something the started Orioles. in the home half right of the seventh. Fielder. Tony Sip. The call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home set. Danny Valencia will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. 0 oh 2, here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Slider stayed too low, ball two. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full 3-2. and two. This is hit softly to third, and this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first out. Third baseman, number one. Digging in once again, Tim, Tim Beckham. Beckham. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Chris Davinsky is into the ball now game now as he'll make Houston. his fifth appearance Number of the season here. Chris Davinsky. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming in, and then it just drops oh, off the great. table. You can get a lot of swinging strikes with that. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now batting, number Into 15. the box now, Cisco, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Zero. Swing and a miss that time, it's 0 and 1. That was a first pitch fastball, he just blew it right by him. You talk about an overpowering fastball working today, nope. he's got a That's good one ball. going. 1 and 1. Right. Look into McCann, the 1-1. One, one. Called strike over the outside corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. That's lifted the other way out to left. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh.
Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. Leading out for the for three with a couple of strikeouts. Josh Edgen has been summoned from the Your bullpen as he'll do so to start the now eighth. Pitching for the Orioles, number 55, Josh Edgen. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. That was a good swing right there. It might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. Now, this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Here's the one and two. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here's the pitch on two and two. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Here's Carlos Correa now. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Way in front of a great slider that time. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. Hit down the third baseline. Beckham is up with it. Throw gets him. Two down. Stepping up to the plate. Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher. Yulieski Guriel will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do. With two out and the base is empty. Brad Brock movement in the Orioles bullpen now as they've got a left hander up and thrown. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Pitch on the way. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. Now at the plate, Trey Mancini. He'll get things started Leading now in the bottom the of inning number eight. Left fielder, Trey Mancini. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung right over the splitter there. 0 and 1. Well, he's just two outs into his major league debut on the mound, and so far he doesn't seem nervous or like he's trying to do too much. That's easier said than done. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. No hits in three Adam tries so far. He struck out once. And he lays off there, 1-0. and oh. One run, four hits. And no errors for the Orioles so far. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two to two balls and two strikes now. The two two coming now to Jones. Tried to stay back on the change up there but this is chopped foul at home plate. And another foul ball.
Another 2-2 offering. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And opposite field as he lines this down the line and right. And that's a fair ball as it'll head toward the scoreboard. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So a big moment here and standing in, Jonathan Scope. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run from the stretch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. For Jones, he's at second with his fourth double here on the season. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Stepping in, Chris Davis. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. And he'll take first here on the intentional walk. So make it runners at the corners now with two away. Stepping up now, Manny Machado. And a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Jim Giles is called upon now with two out in the Houston. eighth as he's asked Number to complete a four-out save. Ken. Giles. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Ball one. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Grounded to third. Guriel picks it up. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Oriole threat goes by the wayside as the inning is over. Here's George Springer. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. Number four. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now, I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The right fielder, number 18. Stepping into the box, Tony, Tony Kemp. Kemp. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Comes set, and the 0 1. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Well, that's two impressive fastballs. Two mid 90s fastballs just reached back, and I dare you to hit it. Meanwhile, now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And this one's in the dirt. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Working to keep them in the game here. Here's a splitter that's taken for a ball one and one. One and one, here it is. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. 
And the pitch on two and one. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. He's set. Here's the two two. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Into the flag court and gone. Now with the plate, Jose Altuve. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. So the top of the ninth keeps a rolling as he comes through with two away. Stepping into the box, Evan Gaddis looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Here's the 0-1. There goes Altuve. Pitch inside the throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And this is fouled straight back. Ready with the one and two. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. The throw into second. So coming to the plate, Brian McCann trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Has a look, now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do any. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. At the plate, Pedro Alvarez. He'll lead things Leading off against Orioles. Giles as they're down First to their final baseman. three outs Pedro in this ball game. Alvarez. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. The 1 0 delivery. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Now here it comes. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box again. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Pedro Alvarez was sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. Danny Valencia swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Baseman, number one. Stepping in, Tim, Tim Beckham. Beckham. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Comes set with the 0-1. And a neck-high fastball that time. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Very high, 2-1. and one. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw the first will be in time to get him. And the Astros have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. 
Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no question. He was a tough well, out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run. So without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. One run, five hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance here at the ballpark, 48,876. The Orioles would like to thank you for attending tonight's ballgame and remind you to please drive home safely.